What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. We just got out here to the Skyway Pier. We just loaded up on the thread fins, man. Good sized thread fins. Probably four to five inches. We got a few dozen. We went to the Fort DeSoto Pier and uh, loaded up on thread fins. Check out this rig, man. This right here is a Brute Trash Can 20, uh, 20 gallon aerator or 20 gallon. I have it rigged up onto a 12 volt battery. I'm covering the, uh, the battery right now just because it's sprinkling. If you're fishing the Skyway Pier, man, that's the way to go. If you guys want to get you a, a nice little rig for, uh, for live bait fishing, highly recommend you guys pick up one of these Brute trash cans and get you an aerator. All right, let's get to fishing. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I Come on, Mr. Threaten, do some work. Man, feels good to be back. It's been, geez, it's been more than like, it's, more than, it's been more than six months. Ever since the season closed, I have not been out here, man. I've just been doing other things, well, fishing for other things, other species of fish. But we're back at it on the pier, and I'm feeling good, man. Hopefully we get them. Go, baby! First one of the season. Ah, oh, he's small, man. First one of the season. He's small as heck. <laughs> what a dinker! That truck car right on the corner of the mouth. First one of the season, man. Look at that. Little guy. We're gonna let him go. See, you, bud. So here's how I'm hooking these thread fins. Just near the anal fin. Just so I can feel him swim. When there's a predator fish near him, he'll kick really fast and you'll you'll feel you'll feel the rod tip, man. You'll feel the, you feel it through the line. So when he when he starts kicking, just uh, just just keep letting the line out. And hope for the bite. Ooh. I just got shocked. That's not good. Whew. Yeah, I just got shot. That can't be good. You might have to call it in a little bit, man. I felt it. Good thing I didn't drop this, uh, this combo in the, in the water. <sighs> Hopefully we get whacked right here, man. Water is going out. Usually, usually when I'm fishing for these gag grouper, I'm out here on the outgoing tide. I have not yet fished the incoming tide for them, but I'm sure it's just as good. You just gotta find where the fish are, where the rock piles are, and just do the same thing, man. Free lining. Yeah, I can feel them kicking. I can't show you guys, but you definitely feel the thread fin just swimming out there. This right here has got to be one of my one of my favorite types of fishing, man. Because these gag groupers fight. It's totally different from a boat. Because when you're fishing off a boat, you can just pull them straight up. But when you're on the pier, it's a whole different story, man. You're not just fighting against the fish, you're fighting against the currents that's going out as well. So it's tough. It's a challenge for sure. That's why you gotta beefen up that tackle. 50 to 100 pound class rod, 8,000 size reel with like 20, uh, 25, 30 pounds of max drag, 50 pound braid and 60 pound leader or 80 pound leader. You should be able to pull them out of the structure.
God, I'm out of breath. Uh. Man, you whacked it. That's gotta be Keeper, man. There's no way he's not a Keeper. That right there is definitely a keeper. Oh, what? Close, I'm gonna measure him. All right. Let's measure it. I am out of breath, man. Oh my god. He might be 23. Watch. Okay. Oh, 24. No way. Right on 24. Actually, 24. 24 and a half. Let's go! <laughs> First one of the season. So that's the hook I'm using. That's a Trocar 5 aught circle hook. You gotta use circle hooks, man, because this is a reef fish. Can't use, can't use J hooks. And uh, same with snapper, too. We're gonna throw this guy in the box and uh, throw on another bait. Man, <laughs> the rain just started coming down. But it's all right, though. It's only sprinkling. We got a bait down there and um, and I'm hoping for the bite. Hopefully we get on some more, man, right here. Hopefully I don't get rocked. It's kind of hard to feel the bait just because the, the wind started picking up. She's coming down. Hopefully this rain passes, man. I'm eager to get back out there because I know they are chewing right now. Tide is moving out, man. It's, it's really strong moving tide. And get this filter off. Yeah, it's, it's pouring right now. So we're gonna try to wait it out and hopefully the rain stops completely and uh, we'll be able to fish again. But we got the fish in the cooler already, so I'm not complaining, man. And it's only what? What's today? The third? The fourth? Of the opening season? Since we're waiting for the rain to stop, let me show you guys the hooks we're using for today. Those right there are the hooks. Those are the Eagle Cloud Trocar size 6.0. You can either you can either use 6-0 or uh, 5-0. I'm using 5 out right now because I'm throwing a thread fin. If you're using anything bigger than a thread fin, then I would go with a 6-0. Really nice hooks, man. Really good for tarpon, snook. Really, really sharp and really, really expensive. <laughs> but they work though, man. You don't have to go out there and get the same hooks as me. You can always get uh, Gamakatsu, Owners, or uh, Mustad. Those are really good hooks as well. Just wanted to share what I use. All right, man. I guess the rain stopped. Well, it's still sprinkling a little bit, but it's not as bad. We're gonna soak this guy down there and see if we get whacked. That was kind of a weird throw, but I didn't want to hold on to the, the reel because I didn't want to get shocked. Because I, I got shocked earlier. I don't know what, I don't know what happened, but that was not a good feeling. That was pretty scary, actually. <laughs> All right, we got our bait down there. All right, man. Hopefully it gets thumped right here. I have not caught a gag grouper in the rain, so it'd be cool to catch one in the rain. Just feel that bait fish swim. Let the line out like that, slowly letting the line out. And when you feel that line, just quickly start stripping. You're on it, man. That gag grouper is on your bait, man. You better do whatever it takes to get that gag grouper out of the hole. Because if not, you're gonna lose him. All right, guys, that's a wrap for me. I don't think this rain's ever gonna stop. And I tried fishing for a little bit in the rain. Not a single bite. So we're just gonna call it, cut it short. I wish I could fish a little bit longer, but it is what it is, man. There's always next time. We're only on the third day of gag grouper season, so I'm not mad about it. We still got the whole season. We're gonna come back out here next time, and hopefully it's really sunny, 
no rain even though it's supposed to rain for the next few days or so that's it for me today i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video hit that like button hit that bell notification you know do all that youtuber stuff i'll see you guys in the next one peace